G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We are out on the river early. We're at the start of a big long trip. We're going to do a cod vlog. Um, yeah, the river's been so changeable after the flood. There's a good pocket of water, so good flows. I'm hoping the, I'm hoping the clarity is good uh, in the next lock above here, but after the flood, the access has been fairly limited, so I've picked a ramp um, below the lock, I'm gonna travel upstream and then go through the lock and spend, um, yeah, it's Friday today. So we've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, come back through the lock on Wednesday. So got an hour cruise, it's about zero degrees. Um, so it's not going to be fun, but that's what you have to do hopefully to get the bites So it is an absolutely beautiful morning. I'm a little bit upset that I missed the prime time But that's just the way it goes. So let's get cruising. Let's get up into that good water So many carps Through the lock, the water looks really good, flow looks really good. It's really, really cold. That was a really cold, long cruise, but should be worth it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna start casting and hopefully we can catch a big one. Looks really good, great day for it. All right, I'm gonna start throwing big AC. I've got a big spinnerbait rigged on the other rod. Komodo swimbait outfit, gonna get it done. Such a nice day. Bit of flow, but it's dropping. I don't mind flow if I know that it's dropping and the water clarity is good. I've got the active target all rigged up because it's something I need to get good at but um, I've only got limited battery power and on a day like this usually I'd expect to get a couple of big bites if I fished well like I normally do so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to save the battery for the active target for like maybe a real prime time or a big sandbar. Well, it's about 10.30. I'm gonna switch over to the big spinnerbait. Fish a little bit slowly, slower, I should say. 
everything looks really good. Definitely gonna get a bite at some stage. What started as a beautiful day has turned into a bit of a gloomy afternoon. Bit of wind. Everything looks too good. It's only a matter of time. Something's gonna happen. Well, it's that time of the day. Put the tremor on. Drift back past all this good stuff down here. Have not had a bite all day, but everything looks good. The flow is probably up like a little bit, but if it's dropping, who knows? Tomorrow's a different day. If it drops one or 2,000, it could be really, really good. Well, that is day one down. Um, I had, I reckon I had a boil behind my surf slur and also I reckon a yellow rattle um, the diver during the day, but that was it. Um, I got a bit of a plan for tomorrow and let's just keep casting. We got moonrise at, ooh, I think it was seven o'clock. <laughs> Coinciding with the sunrise, you'd think it'd be a good bite time. It's obviously been a boom time for the birds, for the floods. I've never seen so many different types of birds on the river. Amazing snack. Well, it's a beautiful day out of the wind. Haven't had a bite yet. Just gonna keep on grinding with the big stuff and hopefully one slips up. Better cast that log. Got it. 
is a good fish. Yeah, that's a really nice fish. Not off the biggest bit either. Oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Whew. And just like that, get a really nice bite. Oh, he is a chunky one. Yeah. Oh, so sick. It's gonna go into the bank here. Oh, it's so cool. What a chunk. He absolutely nailed it. Come on in, buddy. In you come. Oh. Let me get a grip on you. Got him. There is an absolutely sick fish. Oh. I knew when I was going to get a bite, it was going to be a good one. Check this guy out. What an absolute chunk. Absolute chunk. So good to see the fish in such good condition since the floods. So sick. Oh, that was not coming out ever. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly what I wanted. So good. So stoked. Oh, yeah. Well, Conditions are less than ideal. It is windy and cold, but put the confidence bait on, which is just that big twin spin with a big paddle tail. Been working through the logs, working with the wind, um, and got the bite, you know. It's not that big a bit, that bit there, which he came off of. Um, but yeah, first cast in there, sunk a bit, wound, bang, got him, super stoked. Well, that's pretty much it. Good day. One from one. If I could catch a fish like that every day, I would be very happy. Got like four logs to go. And then I'm back at camp. Got the awesome camp spot set up. Good day. Um, one from one. It's just how it goes. Uh, it was a good confidence bite because I know I can just get up tomorrow, do go through the motions, do it all again, and hopefully we can get another good bite. So that's the plan. Well, here we are again. Bit of breeze up this morning a little bit of drizzle. i tell you two things I couldn't do this without. Sims waders, because they just keep you dry. I just get into them in the morning and then I don't have to deal with wet clothes. The other thing is I bought a pop-up tent to put my swag in and that has just been an absolute lifesaver because it means that everything stays dry. I don't have my shoes on the outside of the swag, which end up getting wet. I can get dressed in the morning. It's just made things a lot more comfortable. So once the coffee is done and it's just starting to get light, we'll uh, go through the surface lure around and see if we can get a big bopper. Changeable weather is interesting because anything could happen. Um, 
you know, could get a really big one, could get nothing. As long as you get one bite for the day, I'll be pretty happy. It's funny, of all the bites that I might get all season, if I catch one or two really big boppers on surface, they're the ones that I remember. The sun's just coming up over the trees. I've timed it quite well with where I'm camped because I'll do these last three or four um, and then I can move on to the shady side and that'll be pretty much surface time done. But I had the exact amount of water, which is good. Let's do the exact same run tomorrow morning. Well, that is surface time. Done for another day. Roll around the big twin spin. Check him out. Oh. I was expecting, I know I always say that, but a really nice old broken down log. Oh, I'm just gonna spotlock myself. Yeah, that's an awesome fish. Check that one out. That is such a chunky fish. Absolutely smashed the spinnerbait. Hadn't been casting that long. Super cool. Stoked with that one. All right, buddy. You gone. Yeah. That was sick. Really old, broken down log. Well, super state, 
It's number two. Um, it was a long drive to get up here, but you know, I wasn't sure about car access. Um, and it's really, it's paid off. The water's really good. We're getting the bites, um, and it's nice that both bites have stuck. Uh, so yeah, I reckon just keep on going. You know, we've got a couple of days to go yet. Fingers crossed we can get a really big bopper, but super stoked with that one. raining again it certainly is weird weather It'd be nice when it all settles out I reckon they'll bite all right well it's uh, just after lunch um, I'm going to cruise right back up to um, above where I'm camped uh, and that should give me a whole uh, afternoon session worth of casting just the one bite this morning happy that it stuck hopefully like yesterday afternoon get an opportunity and um yeah make that stick too not hungry fish was a bite. Long way out too. <laughs> oh, he tangled my lure right. I pumped a few casts in there. Let's see if he'll come back. Do you think he would? Eat it again. There's like a bit of log a fair way out, he might have been sitting on that. Definitely a cod. Big single thump. about 20 by well, about 4.30 I think um, putting the surface lure on gonna roll with that until dark the wind like it's still around but it's not really on the river so it's actually quite nice Give us a big bopper on top water to finish off. That'd be awesome.
Well, tomorrow's another day. Anything could happen. One bite yesterday, two bites today. Well, good morning everyone. It is day number four, day four. It is a beautiful morning. There's steam rising, steam rising off the river, which always gets me excited. Usually that's the, uh, that's the kind of morning you're gonna catch a big one. So, let's see what happens. Love it how the hawk comes and has a look. You know, if it looks good to him, the cod's gonna be thinking the same thing. What do you reckon, Mr. Hawk? Well, I think that surface time done. I could keep going. <laughs> I could always keep going, but I think I'm gonna roll with the spinner bait. Well, quick stretch of the legs. Just open the uh, tent up, let a bit of air through. No bites this morning, but um, it is an absolutely beautiful day. Just gonna keep at it. You know, you can all change in a cast and I haven't had my bite today. I've had a bite every other day, so I can't see why today's gonna be any different. Just gonna keep at it.
Well, it has been a very, very tough day. Um, had like one brief opportunity and that was it. It is a beautiful evening. And I still can't see why we can't get a bite. I got the big crankbait on. I'm going to roll with that. Um, and then, yeah, towards last line, I'll throw surface. But fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get it done. Well, it's been a big day fish, but I haven't given up. All right, good morning. It is day number five. Big grind yesterday. No, no big bites at all. It's always tough doing a big day like that for nothing. Um, it is freezing cold this morning. I reckon it's colder than yesterday morning. So hopefully that means something good's going to happen. The jug is on. Make a coffee and then start casting. It's hard trying to work out a game plan after you've did, done a big blank day. I sort of find, but I got re I'm in a really good area. There's lots of really good logs. Um, I've just got to keep at it. There's lots of carps, as you can probably hear. Um, but yeah, I know the cods are there. I know I just need to get a shot, and if it sticks, it'll be really good. I've got to be slightly deranged, because no matter how many blanks I have, I still get excited for what the day's going to bring. I might catch the biggest one in my life. the best logs to last. Mmm. Well, well. 
try again tomorrow. That's all you can do. We gave it a pretty good crack. Well, good morning. It is morning number six. So it's our fifth, technically fifth morning session fishing. So it's another beautiful morning really. There's a slight bit of breeze, but there's like a faint bit of steam rousing off the river. It's making a coffee, getting organized to head back down the river. My plan is uh, there's like amazing run of timber all the way down to the lock. So. Uh, I'm going to start with these all-time logs up here and then just fish my way back down uh, to the lock go through there just after lunch might catch a big one before then you just never know that's just cod fishing though uh, you know bites just come when they come you can try as you might but if they don't want to eat it they don't want to eat it you just got to keep going Made it through the lock. Very interesting talking to the lock master. He said two days ago they put a pulse down through the lock, um, which coincides with the fishing getting really tough. And for some reason now a rise seems to stuff the fishing. You've got to be able to pick it when it's dropping, which is incredibly hard to do. Um, everything's full, so they do these random water releases, but that's just the name of the game fishing the Murray River for cod at the moment. Hopefully enjoyed the adventure. I really enjoyed the adventure. The, the fishing was really tough, but I thought I made good game plans, managed to get a couple of bites before that water turned bad. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you all next time.